Welcome back Brewers, this is Blame189 bringing you Bloodborne's boss battle, the Witch of Hemwick. This capricious crone can be found at the top of Hemwick Channel Lane Hill in her abode. She's not big, she's not tough, but she is clever. So let's take a quick look at the recipe in the Witch's Diversionary Spellbook. Tactic 1. Fill arena with mad ones. These guys roam around the area being generally annoying and actually pose the biggest threat to you. Tactic 2. Create doppelgangers. So you don't even know who's the correct witch to attack. And tactic 3. Be invisible. Sometimes it takes ages to find her, meaning that this fight can go on for a long time. Now the confusing part about the Witch of Hemwick, especially if you're attempting her for the first time, is that the health bar that appears on the screen at the initial stages of the fight belongs to the doppelganger and not to the real witch. Therefore, once you've depleted this health bar down enough, the real witch will start to appear and her health bar will also appear on the screen. A further note on the Witch of Hemwick's doppelganger Later on in the fight, she will conjure more and more of them, but luckily they will only have about 20% of their health and can be finished off fairly quickly. One particular note in terms of finding the Witch of Henwick in the first place, usually the mad ones like to flock around her in protection, so she's often not very far away from wherever they're roaming in the arena. Plus, occasionally you can see these little red glowing patches that signal that she's about to appear. If you're having trouble locating the Witches of Hemwick, you can cast a Numbing Mist, which surrounds them with a white cloud, making it much easier to track them. If you're unfortunate enough not to catch them out and stagger them with visceral attacks and deplete their health bars at the same time during the first phase of the fight, you're going to, obviously, the second phase, which is much, much more dangerous as the Witches of Hemwick, or at least the real witch anyway, will fire a numbing cloud in your direction, which will hold you pinned in place, unable to move. Now, the witches will probably not attack you directly, and if they do, they will go in for one singular attack, which is to grab you and try and tear your eyeballs out. The main danger comes from the fact that you won't be able to run away from and escape the multiple mad ones that are appearing during this phase they can finish you off quite quickly with their aggressive combos if you're not careful. The numbing mist that the Witches of Hemwork fire at you can be used to track them, however, and if you dodge out of the way quick enough, you can easily discover their location and finish them off with long combos or indeed visceral attacks. Even though the Witches of Hemwick only have 2,611 hit points between them, they do have the benefit of not having any particular weaknesses. This means that any power-ups you choose to use during this fight will serve to speed the whole process up. So feel free to use your bone marrow ash, your oil urns and molotovs just to finish things off much quicker. The Witches of Hemwick aren't really a battle in blood, sweat and tears. They're more an exercise in patience and perseverance. This is Blame189 for SBA Gaming. Thank you for watching.